Hi, my name is Sari Dana, and I help women learn to love their bodies and access their inner happiness. I use positive affirmations and education on ending diet culture. And tonight's topic is a beginner's guide to bringing in a healthier food relationship for yourself. And I love this topic so much because there's been so much confusion around, especially right now where people are starting to understand a little bit that diets really don't work. In fact, 95% of diets fail in long term. That's why there's so much yo-yo dieting. But here's the thing, dieting is alluring. Like it makes you believe in the promise that my genes are going to fit or I'm going to lose those 10 pounds finally and I'm going to be happy and everything is going to work out just right. But what happens is every time we go on a diet, inevitably we slip up and we fail and we start over again. It's really exhausting and over time we just get to give up and we don't want to do it anymore. But there is another way. We can build a healthy relationship with our food. A healthy relationship with our food means that we're able to stop eating when our mind and our body is satisfied. So often through diet mentality, we've learned stop eating before you're full or don't eat the whole entire plate or eat on a smaller plate to trick your brain or sip on water, or sip on diet something. But the fact is, is that when our minds and our body is fully nourished and feels fully satisfied, we're able to stop eating. I know, it's crazy, it happened to me. I went on every single diet, I went on every single plan in the pursuit of health, in the pursuit of weight loss. And always, and I'm going to say always, I've always been battling with the same seven pounds up and down and up and down. And I would stay on the diet and I would listen to the plan. I would be a really, really good girl. I would write everything down. I would journal. I would get really excited when the scale went down. And then lo and behold, after the weekend, the scale will go right back up again. And I'll say, oh, I'm going to do it this time. This time I'm really going to stick on my plan. And you know, all the restricting and the, and the thinking about the food really caused binge eating. Like I would restrict and I would limit because I thought that was the right thing to do. And then woof, roller coaster to the binge. Anyway, it's really exhausting. So I want to give you a beginner's tip what you can do today to begin forming that very healthy relationship towards your food and towards your body. And the number one, while it may sound so simple like, duh, I know that, most people don't listen to this. And that's eat when you're hungry. I know, right? Sounds like brain science. But the truth is, for a lot of people, that's not so easy to do. Either we have an internal police in our brain that says, nope, 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 you have to stop eating before you're actually full. Or, I can't eat that now because my plan doesn't allow me to. So many reasons why we may get stuck by not eating until we're actually full. Giving yourself permission to eat all foods, not just certain foods. I know this sounds kind of crazy, but giving yourself and welcoming all foods back into your life. And yeah, you may say, wait, but that's not healthy or that's not good for me. But right now, if you're having a difficult time bringing in a healthy food and body relationship, then let's put gentle nutrition in, and that's from the guidance of intuitive eating. Putting in gentle nutrition that, yeah, you get it, that an apple is healthier than a cookie, for sure. But if your mind and your body is really craving that cookie, in order to stop the obsession, in order to really gain that fullness that your body really deserves, really craves, and really wants, then you need to bring it in. But here's the clincher. Eat it mindfully. 
Eat it with permission. Eat it with enjoying. Eat it with love. Eat it with knowing that dieting doesn't work and restricting food doesn't ever work. And what will happen is that your body will gain its natural body set point from listening to your hunger. So today, if you're not sure when or what to eat or if your hunger cues aren't really intact because they might have gotten mixed up from years and years for not listening to it, I suggest to slow down. Just slow down and ask yourself, am I hungry? What level hungry am I? Do I want to wait a little bit or am I hungry now? Am I excited to eat the food that's on my plate? And you know what? Not every day is the most amazing meal day. But if we could get most days in, beginning to build this food and body relationship with ourselves, our food and our body, really will be worth it in the long run. So throw out the books, tear them up, and go into your internal cues to listen if you're hungry right now. Have a great day.